Sean Robinson here. Every so often I get questions and I want to start answering these types of questions in a bigger forum if they can help more people. So the question today was this. It says, currently I'm between jobs. Ideally I'd love to find an SAP shop in San Diego where I can lead some teams of peers. And it goes on a little bit. And then she talks about her best traits. And they're wonderful, you know, unrelating determination to meet customers' needs, technical know-how across platforms, and some genuine concern for others. Okay, all very wonderful things. Industry experience, she talks about some industry experience. And then she says, any thoughts come to mind on what she can really do to get a job? What are the real steps right now and for always to get a job? Firstly, you need to do what? Let everyone you know know that you have a need and let them know in a way that they can help you. Um, you know, it, if, you're at, if you go to church, if, you, if there's the, the forum to, to you know, humble yourself enough that you can just stand up in front of people and say, look, I'm in need. I need help. I'm looking for a job in this type of area. I know you may not know personally uh, within your own work uh, that you know something that can help, but you might know someone that can help me. Please let me know if you do. Uh, you don't have to contact them, but let me know who they are and I will call them myself or you can certainly, if you're comfortable, set up a time. So that's one thing. And that will be wonderful if you can let people know that want and like and trust you because they want to help you. That's number one step. In conjunction with this, at the same time that you're doing that, you're going to want to find companies that are hiring people like you. You probably know those types of people already. So what do you do in that circumstance? Well, that's where LinkedIn comes in. If you have a large database of people in LinkedIn, like I do, I mean, I have a huge database now, then go through, find people that work at those companies and give them a call. I don't care about etiquette in LinkedIn and all of this other stuff. Who cares? Call them. Hi, this is Sean Robinson. You don't know me, but we're connected on LinkedIn. Do you have two minutes? They'll say yes or they'll say no. If they say yes, and they always say yes, by the way, they always do. Say, I'm just wondering, I, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm interested in your company, and I don't know that much about it. I would love to. Is there a possibility that I could sit down with you at work there for about 20 minutes to, to just find out really what your company is about, the culture, those things that you don't learn by applying for a job. Everybody has 20 minutes. So they'll say yes. You sit down with them and you have 20 minutes. Break it down into five minute blocks. Okay, The first five minutes you find out about them. Find out about what makes them tick. The second five minutes, you really do find out about that company. The third five minutes, you find out about what? They, you, you find out about, well, they, you really talk about yourself. You tell them who you are and what you're about. You already know the key factors about them and the company, so you can mold yourself into the right person by then. The fourth five minutes, you talk about how you might fit with their company. Okay. And that's it. You leave, you don't expect anything, but what will happen is when they do want to hire someone, they know who you are. You can get, the whole premise of this is you don't want to be in the pile. If any good job comes out there right now, what happens? There are thousands of resumes, boom, piling up. I mean, in a day, in two days, they just are getting all of these things in. You don't want to be in that pile. You want to be an internal referral. You want someone to, to say, I've talked with this person. She was in a couple months ago and we talked. I think she would be great for this position. Boom, it's an internal referral. And then they will, uh, you know, you, you're different. You're, you're, you're set apart. They don't want to read through a thousand resumes of people that they don't know. Okay? 
Um, let's see. Thirdly, uh, you can still go through the old method of sending out resumes, but just realize that it normally takes close to a thousand resumes to get a job interview. And that just seems like a waste of time. Picking up the phone, making an introduction, using your imagination, somehow standing out from everybody else, that's key. And that's where it's at. Um, so anyone else, if you have any input on this, please add, uh, add that. But that's how I would go. You ask people that you know for help uh, in such a way that they will want to help you. Uh, you know, you could always, uh, well anyway. I appreciate your time, uh, everybody who's watching this, and I hope this helps. Uh, LinkedIn is marvelous for this, but your own peer group and the people that you know and that, that, that love you, that's the most powerful thing that you have. Um, you can ask people time and time again, how did they get that wonderful job that they have? And most of the time, it's because of someone that they knew. You have to tap into that market, that job market that doesn't, that you don't even know is there. You know, most of the good jobs aren't even posted. Okay, John Robinson signing off. Have a great day. Talk to you then.